I'm going to read uh, this this poem. This is this poem has been through a couple of incarnations. It's changed more than once. Uh, I cranked it out the first time. Uh, got it in a book. And it was all fine and dandy, but uh, the more I read it, the more I thought I didn't do a good job of uh, saying everything I needed to ch say. Changed the title, switched up a little bit, and uh, it won the uh, Songs of Eric's Best Poem 2017. Most cash I ever got out of a single poem. Uh, it's called The Coast of Oklahoma. Outside my western window, a gray day presses against the pane, remnant of a fading hurricane flown inland to die on the coast of Oklahoma. Scanning the receding mist, I hold a lawman's star in my left hand, remnant of hard arms and a good man's heart. Your cowboy hat hangs under rifles on a red cedar gun rack as if you might walk in and put it on. But August has slipped away while I wasn't looking, blue eyes beneath a tilted brim. So I searched the ground below the glass, seeking the scruffs of your well-worn heels on September dirt, where fathers walk, sign is always left, and sometimes, only a tracker can read those marks. I need that trail now, for without a path to follow, life can be a pursuit of pieces scattered in a storm, a whisper of dry leaves whirling away before the rain begins to fall. And that, of course, is about my dad. I do still have his hat. As a matter of fact, I, you've seen it in some of the earlier ones. So about the only thing I got, we had the same hat size. Uh, and it is a rule in Oklahoma, I don't know if you know it, but it is a rule in Oklahoma, if you read a poem about your father, you are required to read one about your mother, and vice versa. Uh, so I'm gonna read, uh, actually I may read two. No, midstream I'm gonna change and read one, a uh, longer poem about mom. Uh, Mom was a flower person. God, she loved flowers more than anybody ever knew. Uh, and she had this amazing hollyhock bush that grew uh, in the back of the house where we played ball. You know. And uh, it was it was just a thing of great beauty. And it's the primary uh, inspiration for this poem called Hollyhock. Past a gathering of elms off my western deck, a dense green thicket of thorn bush and vine grows heavy to a row of oaks, hours crowded with days and weeks, weaving a web impassable as this hedged corner of pasture turned yard. Blood red from the deep green tangle, a cardinal emerges and lights on a rusted spine of barbed wire grown through a living fence post in 50 Oklahoma summers. His feathers bleed on the light of a slow setting sun, painting the ghost of a hollyhock bush lost across four decades near a, near a corner of storm cellar concrete erupting from backyard earth it stands beside a flowering redbud tree. Wine red blooms so dark at the center they appear stained black. And I feel cool linoleum beneath bare feet. See the hummingbird nearly disappear inside crimson petals. Hear mom tell me not to wander off. Dinner is almost ready. But I've already wandered, wandered far away, across 40 falls, 40 winters, to this dwindling of August with its hurricane-cool summer air, far away from Mom's back porch, 
and that wine red hollyhock. I have fulfilled my obligation, a poem for each. I have very good parents. Uh, it's hard to be a poet when you have a good life. You, have, you, have, you, need, you need more torture. <laughs>